ever heard of Sigma males? No? Well, they're like the ninjas of the male hierarchy, silently outshining the alphas in their own game. Now, you might be wondering, who or what exactly are these mysterious Sigma males? Picture this, while alphas are the roaring lions, the leaders of the pack, Sigma males are more of the lone wolves. They don't lead the pack, nor do they follow. They carve their own path, living life on their own terms, and that's what makes them so fascinating. Sigma males are the introverted counterparts of alphas. They're not about the limelight, the power play, or the popularity contests. They're the strong, silent types who prefer solitude over socializing. They're independent, self-sufficient, and oh-so-mysterious. Think of them as the Batman of the male spectrum. They're not out there showing off their strength or flaunting their wealth. They're in the shadows, playing their own game, winning in silence. Or better yet, picture James Bond, suave and sophisticated, not needing validation from anyone, just doing his thing and looking darn good while at it. Now, don't get me wrong, Sigma males aren't antisocial or reclusive. They're just selective about who they spend their time with. They value quality over quantity, in friendships and in life. They're all about authenticity, depth and substance. And the best part? They're not trying to be this way. It's not a facade or a strategy. It's simply who they are. They're comfortable in their own skin, unapologetically themselves. And that's a trait that's rare and admirable in today's world. Sigma males have this intriguing aura about them. They're like a mystery novel that you can't put down. The kind of enigma that you can't help but want to unravel. And that, my friends, is what makes them so attractive. Intrigued yet? Let's dive deeper to uncover the allure of Sigma males. Picture this. An alpha male is like a lion, loud and proud, but a Sigma male, he's a panther, silent yet just as powerful. Now let's dive into this jungle of personality types. You see, alpha males are typically the ones commanding attention, roaring their presence in every room they enter. They're the leaders, the go-getters, the ones who aren't afraid to make their voices heard. They're like lions, ruling their domain with unquestionable authority. But then, there are the Sigma males, the introverted counterparts of the Alphas. They might not roar as loud, but that doesn't make them any less powerful. They're the Panthers of the jungle, moving silently, confidently. They don't need the validation of the crowd, nor do they seek to rule over others. They're perfectly content in their solitude, in their own space, in their own pace. Now, if alpha males are the life of the party, sigma males are the ones who own the party venue. They're the mysterious figures in the corner, observing, analyzing, understanding. They're the ones who know every exit, every hidden corner, every secret passage of the venue because they own it. They might not dance on the tables or lead the conga line, but they don't need to. Their appeal lies in their quiet confidence, their self-sufficiency, their independence. And let's not forget, Sigma males have a certain allure to them. They're like a mystery novel that you can't put down, a puzzle you can't help but want to solve. Their independence and self-reliance are not just attractive, they're downright magnetic. It's like they're quietly challenging you to understand them, to get to know them, to appreciate their depth. And trust me, it's a challenge many find irresistible. So who's winning the attractiveness race now? Let's see. So, what makes Sigma males more attractive than Alphas? Is it their mysterious aura, or their self-sufficient lifestyle, or is it their ability to wear a hoodie in any weather? Now, let's dive into the deep end of this pool of attractiveness. The first thing that makes Sigma males stand out is their self-reliance. They are the epitome of the saying, I'm a lone wolf, not a lonely one. They thrive in their own company, not needing the validation of a group to feel accomplished which is quite a refreshing change in our society that values extroversion. Their self-reliance doesn't mean they are antisocial, oh no. They are just selective socialites. They enjoy meaningful interactions over shallow small talk. They are the ones you see sitting in the corner of a crowded room, observing, learning, and waiting for the right moment to share their thoughts. And when they do, it's usually worth the wait. Next up, is their intelligence. Sigma males are often the smartest guys in the room, and they know it, but they don't flaunt it like a peacock showing off its feathers. No, they're more like the owl, silently observing, absorbing information and only using it when necessary. They are the embodiment of the phrase, still waters run deep. They are deep thinkers, always a few steps ahead, 
always planning, always strategizing. And now, let's talk about the mystery. Who doesn't love a good mystery, right? Sigma males are like walking enigmas, wrapped in a riddle, shrouded in a hoodie. They're like the main character in a thriller novel. You're always wondering what they're thinking, what they're planning, what makes them tick. Sigma males are like onions. The more you peel, the more layers you find. And no, they don't make you cry. Well, unless you're trying to solve them, then they might make your brain cry a little. But that's part of the allure. The more you try to understand them, the more fascinating they become. They are a challenge, a puzzle waiting to be solved. And let's be honest, we all love a good challenge. It's human nature to be drawn to things we can't easily understand or predict. It's the thrill of the unknown, the excitement of the chase, the satisfaction of finally figuring out a complex equation. That's what makes Sigma males so attractive. They are not an open book. They are a treasure chest, waiting for the right person with the right key to unlock their secrets. So, there you have it. The allure of Sigma males wrapped up in three tantalizing traits. Self-reliance, intelligence, and mystery. They say good things come in threes, and in the case of Sigma males, this couldn't be more true. Mystery, intelligence, self-reliance. Quite the winning combo, don't you think? Feeling a little Sigma-ish after all this talk? Well, here's how you can unleash your inner panther. Let's start with the basics, shall we? Step one, get a hoodie. Yes, you heard me right. Now I don't mean to imply that all Sigma males are hoodie-wearing hermits, but there's something about the comfort and anonymity of a good hoodie that really appeals to the Sigma spirit. It's like a modern-day suit of armor, shielding you from the world while you plot your next move. Step two, start loving your own company. Sigma males are the masters of solitude, not because they're antisocial, but because they understand the value of their own thoughts and ideas. They're the guys who can sit alone in a coffee shop, engrossed in a book or their own thoughts, and be perfectly content. So the next time you're feeling a bit lonely, remember, Solitude can be a powerful ally if you let it. Step 3. Embrace your independence. Sigma males are self-reliant to a fault. They don't need validation from others because they find it within themselves. They're the lone wolves, the wanderers, the ones who forge their own path. So don't be afraid to break away from the pack. Trust yourself, trust your instincts, and remember, the only person you really need to impress is you. Step four, build your self-confidence. Sigma males may not be the loudest in the room, but they certainly command the most respect. Why? Because they're self-assured, they know their worth, and they're not afraid to show it. So don't be shy about your achievements. Be proud of who you are and what you've done. Confidence is not arrogance, it's self-recognition. And finally, step five, embrace your introversion. Being a Sigma is not about being aloof or detached. It's about being introspective and self-aware. It's about understanding that you don't need to be the life of the party to be interesting. You're interesting just the way you are. Remember, being a Sigma is less about being aloof and more about being self-assured. So, ready to walk the Sigma path? So, are Sigma males the new alphas? Well, they might just be. Let's take a quick stroll down memory lane, shall we? We've explored the enigmatic world of Sigma males, those lone wolves who, rather than leading the pack, choose to carve their own path. We've dived into their silent showdowns, how their quiet confidence and self-sufficiency make them a magnetic force. We've dissected what makes them so attractive, and it's not just their mysterious aura, it's their independence, their self-reliance, and their ability to thrive outside the social hierarchy. And then we've talked about how you can unleash your inner panther, channel your inner sigma, because in a world where everyone's either a lion or a wolf, why not be a panther? Why not be a sigma? And that, my friends, is why sigma males might just be outshining the alphas. So the next time you see a guy in a hoodie, sitting quietly in a corner, remember, he might just be the most attractive person in the room.